What's going on guys, it's OmniArk and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. I know I haven't made a video in a couple of weeks now, but anytime that there's going to be rumors or news surfacing about Modern Warfare 2, you know I'm going to turn on the camera, you know I'm going to make a video, uh, so let's get right into it. Now, I'm sure you guys have remember there was all sorts of rumors going on last year uh, about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. There were some leaks, there were some things posted up on GameStop's website. Not only that, but like different merch items and things like that. So it's pretty much been confirmed for a long time now that we're going to be getting Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Um, there was also the rumors of the the remaster only including the campaign for the game, which sent people spiraling into chaos and panic because everybody knows that the most important part of Modern Warfare 2 is obviously the online multiplayer mode. So recently, I guess there have been some leaks on some European websites uh, talking about the rating for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, kind of talking about how the game itself would be rated if it were to come out. And then it was quickly removed from the website, uh, which leads a lot of people to think like, hey, this was an accidental posting, uh, and they actually realized it and pulled it down quickly. Now, now this is coming at an interesting time right because this is right around when we start to see leaks about the Call of Duty that's going to be coming out at the end of the year if you guys remember last year for Black Ops 4 we started seeing um, I think the announcements officially for Black Ops 4 came out in May uh, and the year before that for World War 2 we started seeing announcements for World War 2 coming out in around April so um, this is right around the time of the year where we're going to start to hear more about the upcoming Call of Duty game, which will lead up to an official announcement. Usually leaks like this one are, um, they're not actually leaks. Typically they're planned by the company to get people to start talking, to get gaming news websites to post about the game and kind of get the hype train rolling. Uh, so I don't know if this is actually a leak or, or more just like a planned teaser, but regardless, um, the, the rating that was given for Modern Warfare 2 was specifically for a campaign remaster only, which is actually supporting last year's claims of the game only being a campaign remaster. Now, for me personally, I can't imagine a world where they only release the campaign remastered. Um, and I think that if they do, there's gonna be a couple of things that tie into that. Now, for one, you know, the only reason that I could possibly think of them re remastering the campaign only is because they don't want to pull too many players away from whatever game they release this year and they don't want to split up the player base too much now the reason that i think that might be a concern is because i believe that modern warfare 2 remastered is going to be bundled with call of duty modern warfare 4 um, in the recent investor call for activision they did announce uh, to their investors that call of duty for this upcoming year is going to be something that fans are familiar with um, and you know people who are really interested in the franchise who, who or who have roots in the franchise are really going to appreciate um, so really when you think about what could infinity ward possibly release that would please older fans uh, it, it has to be the modern war Warfare uh, series because they can't go back to anything else. There's nothing else that Infinity Ward can go back to that fans really loved because everything else that Infinity Ward has released has been more or less garbage. Um, they released Ghost, which terrible. That was like the beginning of the end for Call of Duty. If you go back now, Ghost isn't that bad. Uh, but for the time, the players didn't like it. Infinite Warfare was absolute trash. Um, so yeah, we, we kind of know for a fact that we're getting Modern Warfare 4 this year, or at least that's what I think. I personally think that that is the most likely thing that they could release because they've had too many failures in a row and they really have to deliver um, on what you know the, the fans want because Infinity Ward can't keep dropping the ball they're causing a lot of players to drop off um, that also being said I know that they they also rehired some developers from Modern Warfare 2 who originally left to join Respawn, they recently uh, hired them back in order to work on Call of Duty, presumably. Um, so that to me just says a couple of things. One, they're probably hiring these team members back in order to get them to work on Modern Warfare 4, as well as help maybe with giving pointers on um, the remaster for Modern Warfare 2. 
I don't think that they'll be spread very thin and kind of doing both at the same time. Typically, Call of Duty will hire a separate development studio to do their remasters just like they did with um, Modern Warfare 4 remastered. And they also hired a, a company to remake all of the zombies maps um, for Black Ops 3, I believe. I don't remember exactly what the, I don't, it, was it Raven? I don't, I don't remember exactly, but um, typically for those quote unquote side projects, they'll hire some other company to do it, which is fine. So um, to me, I think all signs point to Modern Warfare 4 coming out this year. Um, more rumors are confirming that we're getting Modern Warfare 2 remastered and truthfully, I think that it will be bundled with Modern Warfare 4. It only makes sense uh, because last year, or I'm sorry, two years ago, whenever we got the uh, Modern Warfare 4 remaster, new players were introduced to the Modern Warfare franchise with COD 4 Remastered. Now they'll be able to get the second installment in that game to kind of catch them up to what's going to be happening in Modern Warfare 4. Obviously it skips MW3, but you know, it'll just kind of at least sort of semi complete the circle. So players, new players who've never played those games before kind of have a bit of an idea of who the characters are in this uh, upcoming game in Modern Warfare 4. We don't have any idea about it. It could be maybe an alternate you know the uh, the events playing out in an alternate universe right like they don't actually have to follow modern warfare 3 chronologically it could be a prequel to cod 4 you know um, by that i mean call of duty modern warfare 4 could be a prequel to cod 4 or it could be an alternate universe of modern warfare 3 uh, because i think that the 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 story was pretty wrapped up after modern warfare 3 i don't know if there was much left to do so i think if they do make a modern warfare 4 um that it would be it could take one of those side paths either being a prequel or maybe a retelling of the story or a different side of the events of the same story or maybe it's far in the future i hope not i hope we don't see any boost jumping um but regardless i do firmly believe that we're getting Modern Warfare 4 this year bundled with Modern Warfare 2. The only question that remains is, are we getting the multiplayer for Modern Warfare 2? And if not, why not? Um, and I think, you know, I don't think Activision is that stupid, right? That they would intentionally not deliver the multiplayer without a good reason. Them releasing Modern Warfare 2 Remastered as well as them releasing Modern Warfare 4 are both major signs that they realize that they're trying to recapture the audience that they've lost. Um, those are the two biggest reasons why they would release both of those titles. So why would they then intentionally not include the one thing from Modern Warfare 2 that these players really love the most? Um, so a couple of reasons why, again, I already talked about why maybe they don't want to split the multiplayer fan base. So, you know, more people maybe are playing Modern Warfare 2 than Modern Warfare 4, and that would look bad for investors. The other thing is that what if they actually combined the multiplayer of Modern Warfare 2 with Modern Warfare 4? That's another route that they could take where if the guns are similar enough in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 4, they could literally just take a handful of the MW2 maps remake them and put them in modern warfare 4's multiplayer um, and kind of use the same perk system and in, in that way we kind of get a reimagining of the modern warfare 2 remastered experience for online while also not splitting the player base personally uh, i really would hate that i i do not want them to do that i just want a tried and true remaster of the original experience um However, you know, I could see them potentially doing that, you know, doing sort of like a Master Chief Collection multiplayer thing where they kind of take all of the maps from MW2, MW3, and MW4 and kind of put them all in one multiplayer experience. Again, I don't know if they're going to do that. I don't know if I would actually like that, especially because the Master Chief Collection didn't do well in multiplayer when it first came out. But regardless, um, that's another thing that could happen. Um, and finally, the last speculation uh, that came to my mind is that they could um, remaster the campaign and bundle it with uh, Modern Warfare 4. And then after, you know, maybe a month or two or maybe around Christmas, they release the multiplayer DLC for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered in, in that you know in that case then all of the players would play have they'd have a chance to play modern warfare 4 remastered multiplayer and kind of get that experience this would be activision's way of forcing them to at least try it before jumping over to modern warfare 2 remastered online multiplayer which like i said maybe that will come out a few months later um and also that's kind of a way of kind of 
bringing players back to Call of Duty, right? Like you release Modern Warfare 2 Remastered with Modern Warfare 4, everyone buys the game, everyone plays Call of Duty. Once December, January comes around and everybody is already moving on to other games, then you drop Modern Warfare 2 Remastered multiplayer and everybody comes back to Call of Duty again. So it's kind of a second way of getting people's attention for the same game release, which I think is interesting. Again, I don't want them to do that. I would rather they just release Modern Warfare 2 Remastered multiplayer right out of the gate um, and we don't have to wait for it. We don't have to worry about it being infused with Modern Warfare 4's uh, multiplayer or anything like that. Just give me the full multiplayer and everybody will be happy. But, you know, it is Activision we're talking about. They always find a way to screw something up. So I wouldn't put it past them to try something. One of the things on this list um, that I'm predicting. I think it, it's not unlikely for them to do something like that. So with that being said, um, I want to hear you guys down in the comment section below. Tell me what you think. What do you think is going to happen? Are we going to see a Modern Warfare 2 remastered this year at all? Do you think it's going to have multiplayer? What do you think of the idea of them maybe combining the multiplayer with Modern Warfare 4? Would you want a Modern Warfare 4? There's so many questions that we can be asking right now, and um, I'm excited. I hope the game is good. I definitely have strayed away from Call of Duty the past couple of years. Obviously, as you can tell, I upload much less frequently to this channel, and a big part of that is because I just don't really play Call of Duty anymore. The franchise is very stale and boring to me. But again, like I said, Modern Warfare 2 is like, it's like my, I, I almost want to say it's my favorite multiplayer game of all time. I, I think that it's it's fair to say that because I haven't played any other multiplayer game as much as I played Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Uh, I'm sorry, Modern Warfare 2 originally back in the day. So um, yeah, I'm just, I'm excited to see it remastered. I don't even know if the game would hold my attention very long, um, simply because I played it so much as a kid that having it remastered would be cool to look at, but it wouldn't really, you know, Regardless, uh, I'm excited. So again, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up the video if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you're new around here. Turn on the notifications by smacking that bell. And hopefully I will see you guys again soon. Peace.